All right, I just wanted to show real quickly the two elderberries we planted this year. And I'll leave the card to the original posting of that, but look at that. I mean, you can see where the brown was on it. Look at all that new green growth on there. That's just from this year. We just planted these this earlier. So that one's doing great, and let me tell you, that one is the Adam. So there's that one. This one's not as big. I don't know if it's the variety thing. Look at that. It's so cool. But yeah, planting elderberries. First year with them. Here we go. Welcome to Right Farms, guys. Today I got to plant some. Uh, nope, not kale. That's what the kids were eating. I got to plant some okra. I'm excited. Finally warm enough. I love okra for planting it. Um, it's one of the easiest things to plant. It manages itself. That right there is our green bean tunnel. That thing's awesome. Kimfolk Farms already started it. Um, and we already got some starts right there. You can barely see. But, so I'm going to show you the okra. Try remember, we got like five or so varieties. And also seeds saved from last year. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, but I'm excited. We finally got to get okra started. And I need to get more out here started. But at least I got that. So I'm happy. Here we go. So I'm just using my wooden stakes. I rode on there. I'm not going to show you my riding because it's terrible. But so this first one right there will be all the way down. And that's the all okra from last year. And then this is Clemson and it's all the way. It's a full row of it. And then I got the red burgundy is this one right here. And then next to it or halfway through is Jing Orange and it goes the rest of the way. And then Star David is this next one, this last one. And then on the very, am I quit walking right there, please? And then that last one right there is the uh, Abigail's Coffee one. So we're, we've done the red, the burgundy, Clemson, and of course this row right here, the first row, that's seeds from last year from our harvest. So, so Jing Orange will be a new one to try for us. The uh, Abigail's Coffee is going to be another one, and... Star David will be another new one that we have not tried. Um, so it'll be fun. With the red last year when we tried it, we couldn't mo notice the difference in taste, but I liked the color. It was fun to have red and green when you're eating. When we froze it, it actually changed to green after we defrosted it and cooked it and all that. So it was still fun, though. We enjoyed it, and it was, fun. It was enjoyable. So I like having the variety color. I don't want to eat just green all the time kids loved it kids loved picking it so we'll see how i did this year on planting them hopefully as good as last year last year i did not maintain them at all i did not weed them did not water them I just harvested and it was beautiful so hopefully this year we're going to do a little more maintaining but hopefully i'll actually have as good of a year if not better than last year and we are harvesting a ton it was thick um i should throw up a photo if i can find it if so it'll cover this up for a second so if you're not seeing my face, that's why. Real quick, I wanted to show you something and tell you about it. So with these, I just kind of spade them to loosen up the soil. You just lightly cover the okra seeds up. And then I just watered them to hopefully get them to take. And hopefully we're getting, it won't be super cold. I think it's like in the low 50s this weekend, which we're supposed to wait till Good Friday. We didn't. So hopefully that doesn't ruin any of this, but we'll find out. Like I said, you just open up the soil a little bit, sprinkle the seeds on, sprinkle a little bit of dirt on, water. That's all I did last year, and I had a, a forest of them. It was awesome. We are harvesting it like crazy. So just want to say thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you plan to grow okra, plant it soon. Um, I don't know what you colder regions do um, but it's definitely if you've thought about growing it if you've eaten it before it's worth growing the worst part is picking it you got to pick it every other day that's not a bad thing though it's just it's got little fibers on it that are a little prickly just giving you a heads up if you haven't done it before it's not that big of a deal just wear a long sleeve or just wash off afterwards really great but thanks again guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next video i hope you have a great day Let's grow something.